The armature is the central part of your power tool's motor. It consists of windings, the commutator, a cooling fan, and the drive gear. The armature, along with the field, create an electromagnetic field that causes the armature to spin. The carbon brushes transfer electricity to the armature through the commutator. Over time, the commutator will wear from this constant contact. If the tool is overloaded, the armature can overheat, and the insulation around the windings will burn away, creating a short circuit. When this occurs, there will be excessive sparking from the motor brushes and smoke or a burning smell from the motor. Replacing the armature is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the rear cover from the handle. Now I'll remove the brushes. I'll pull the brush spring back, and then I can pull the brush from the holder. And I repeat this on the other side. Now I'll remove the screws that secure the gearbox to the motor assembly. Now remove the fiber washer from the pinion gear. And next, the armature from the motor housing. Now remove the motor plate from the armature bearing. I've opened the jaws of my vise just wide enough for the motor plate to sit on the edges and I'll tap the armature out of the motor plate. I want to be careful doing this because if I strike the armature too hard, I can crack the motor plate. And now I'll remove the bearing boot from the commutator side bearing. Now I'll remove the bearing from the armature. I'll use a bearing separator to do that. I place the separator over the bearing, tighten it up, and I'll place the separator over the jaws on my vise. I'll use a socket that's slightly smaller than the inner race on the bearing, and I'll tap the armature shaft out of the bearing. Now I can begin installing the new armature. First, I'll need to place a new bearing on the fan side of the armature. I'll place the bearing onto the armature shaft, and then use a socket that has a diameter about the same as the inner race that'll still pass over the top of the gearing on the armature. And I'll use the socket to tap the bearing into place. And now I'll reinstall the bearing on the commutator side. I'll place the bearing on the armature shaft and use the socket to install it. Now I'll reinstall the boot on the commutator side bearing. And now I'll reinstall the armature into the motor plate. And 
now I can install the armature assembly back into the motor housing. Now I'll reinstall the fiber washer onto the pinion gear, place the seal back into the gearbox, and I'll reinstall the gearbox to the motor housing, and secure it with the screws. And now I'll reinstall the brushes. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the rear half of the handle and securing it with the screws. And now you know how to install a new armature in your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.